From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. ESCOM's newest coal-fired power stations, Limpopo-based Madupi and Mpumalanga-based Kusile, have suffered setbacks since their commissioning, some of which are yet to be finalized. Because ESCOM ordered boilers of such a high capacity, at about 800 megawatts a unit, this meant that the power utilities suffer from teething problems associated with the plant and equipment deployed in few other places in the world. This meant ESCOM had to work with the boiler manufacturers to understand the issues and work together to solve them. ESCOM Project's General Manager Zandi Shange speaks to Engineering News' Donna Slater about fixing the major defects and about where the utility currently stands in terms of operational capacity. The major defects, they relate to the boiler, which talks to the PJFF, the mills, the gas air heater, and also we had a, a high uh, flu exit gas temperature that we were also needing to resolve so that we can be able to run efficiently and effectively. Together with the, our principal contractor uh, we, and our engineers, we have worked, gone back to the drawing board to look at what can be done to improve and enhance the defects that were identified. And we have implemented those uh, technically agreed solutions. What is good is the solutions were agreed also between ESCOM and the MHI, uh, which is our principal contractor, and then they get implemented. At Midupi, we have implemented all of them. And then at Kusile, we have done units one, two, three, and then some of it on unit four, and Unit 5 and 6, which is still under construction, we are implementing so that by the time we go into the grid or connect to the grid, the, the, all the modifications and the improvements have been implemented. But the team uh, is continuing to look at other enhancements for the plant like the PJFF, which we have not yet fully uh, implemented all the solutions. So the team is still looking into, into the possible solutions to say how we can improve the availability and the reliability of the plant. By addressing and solving the major boiler defects, ESCOM is improving the energy availability factor for both Madupi and Kusile. This could be good news in terms of having to load shed less, Shanga explains. The team in terms of the operations and engineering we track in terms of how availability has improved. Uh, before we implemented the solutions and afterwards we have seen for uh, Midupi for end of April before when you exclude uh, unit 4 which is out of because of the incident we are sitting at about 82 percent and also we've seen here with a uh, we've just done a sample for unit 1 we have seen also the improvement in terms of the megawatts that we do not lose because of the unit that is not available unit 5 will be the next one on the grid we are currently focusing uh, June 2023 uh, with measures in place for improvement and then that is for the first sink and then Unit 6 we will then uh, go into first sink in November 2023 and going into commercial operation in May 2024. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.